Okay, welcome to another Orbiter video, and this is the series I'm putting together where we started off on Earth in the XR-5 Vanguard, and we're going all the way out to Vesta. Vesta is between the orbit of Mars and Jupiter, and it's a little tiny body. It's an asteroid. It is large enough to have enough gravity that you can orbit around it, unlike Deimos and Phobos, but it's still very small. So we're, we're here. You can see in the little... Um, in the little display window that that little golf ball looking thing over there is Vesta. And of course it'll get much larger once we get closer to it. So let's go ahead and switch camera views here and jump into things. So we are about 2,800 seconds out from Periapsis. So let's warp time forward. Let's get in a bit closer. Let's go down to 1,000. About right here. And let's take another look. So you can see Vesta is now much larger than it was before. So we're going to require a velocity match when we get there. Uh, or not a velocity match, but a circularization I think is what, I think is what I want. I'm not sure what I want. Do I want... I would think that I would want the the orbit insert, but it's not letting me target Vesta. It's just not working. Let me try to reference the sun again and then target Vesta. That's yeah, not working. What if I reference myself? Can't do that. Reference Vesta. Target ecliptic. That's fine, I think. Target G, target R, target E. Um, think here. So when does it think I need to do this burn? Yeah, I don't, I don't get that, why it thinks it's so far out in the future. That doesn't make any sense to me. So I guess what I could do, again, about... I'm so confused. All right, just let me think. Let me go actually retrograde to Vesta. What is what is our orbital inf uh, gravity gravity influence? It's only 0.24. Translation. So let me go. Have to be a bit careful with my time warps here because we're almost there. So I think what I might actually try to do is just do a manual because this you know we're gonna fly past this thing like it's not even there like it's gravity gravitational influence isn't even gonna we're not even gonna flinch. So I think I'm just going to go into the retrograde position and just start burning the main engines now just to slow down relative to Vesta. All right, there's there's retrograde there. And I think and I can't use the autopilot right now because it'll just It'll want to reference the sun. All right, so I'm going to say at 500 seconds from periapsis, we're going to fire the full power of the main engines of the Vanguard just to start slowing down relative to Vesta. So coming up on 500 seconds. All right, come out of time warp and firing the full power of the main engines. And you can see our time to the periapsis is counting down, but it's really slow. So let me let me cancel that for now. Let's go down to 400 seconds out. About right here. And let's try that again. And now the time to the periapsis is counting down a bit slower, so that might still be a bit too soon. Let's go down to 300 and let's go down to 300. Overshot that a little bit. All right, and let's let's do this using the full power of the main engines. 
slowing down relative to Vesta. PEA is holding in there at 50 kilometers, which is about, I think that's about what we need. We might be able to go a bit lower, but I have noticed that the, uh, the height map of Vesta is really odd. You can probably go lower than that. I, I think maybe 20 kilometers would be okay. Yeah, we're burning through those fuel, remaining fuel modules. They're probably all gone now. Uh, 33, 34, I think that was the last one. No, I think there's one more. I still see a tiny bit of green there. But, okay, so it looks like fuel's going to be okay. I never did set up my camera points. So, the only way we're going to be able to see Vesta is to look at the external view. But you can see it there. And that was the last of our fuel modules. So time to periapsis is counting down very slowly. And we've slowed down quite a bit by now. So let me go ahead and kill the engine there. Let's get down to 200 seconds. And engage the full power of the main. And maybe bring up... Let's bring up map on that side. Let's display orbit, plane, target, daylight. Uh, the, the good thing is the the rotation, like if we miss the daylight of the base it's no big deal. We can just orbit once or twice and we'll be back in daylight. So I didn't really have to, didn't really have to put that into my planning. Like you can see right now the, the base is in the dark but once we're in orbit around Vesta, we can just orbit two or three times and it'll be in the light. Translation. Rotation. All right, time to the periapsis is slowly counting down. Kill the main engine, get in a bit closer. Go down to say 125 seconds. Now we're gonna go with that. Full power on the main. Translation. Okay. Take a sip of water while the autopilot, well, while the engines are firing. So we're about 105 seconds away from periapsis, counting down very slowly. You can see our eccentricity is still massively hyperbolic. We've slowed down to 4,500 meters a second relative to Vesta. Let me watch my rotation so that I'm not driving my PEA out into space. So we're currently 200 kilometers up, so if we look over, we can probably see it. Yeah, it's just a great big golf ball. <laughs> so 70 seconds away from the low point. ECC's all the way down to 260 times so mm -hmm. I wonder if I may have canceled those burns a bit too soon. We're down to about 3,600 meters a second relative to Vesta. Forty-six seconds away, 45 seconds away from the low point. And I have the vessel start yawing just slightly towards 180 so that I don't drive my periapsis way down. Yeah, by the time you've seen this video, you will have, by the time this gets posted, you will have seen my uh, methods for lunar orbit injection. So, you know, now, you know, that video showed us how we can c control our periapsis by, you know, controlling our 
our yaw angle. So yeah, I think I probably canceled those burns uh, way too soon. So now we're at periapsis, getting right there. So I kind of would like to be captured by now, and I'm not. But 2,400 meters to go. I think the orbital velocity of Vesta is 200 meters a second, somewhere between 100 and 200. So now we're past periapsis, so if I want to keep my PEA from going down, I will now want to start yawing a bit inward. So let me do a kill rotate there. Looks like I'm just a bit off the center line, so let me go up a tad. And yeah, I'm going to start allowing the vessel to just naturally yaw in. So we're down to 1800 meters a second. Our ECC is down to 57 times ca uh, capture, so yeah, I should have allowed this burn to continue when I was farther out on that side. Just trying to, there we are, nope, that's the back of the vessel, so I can't see Vesta at the moment. I guess we're probably in, yeah, we're into the dark of it now. All right, so our PEA is going up a little bit. Don't want that. So I'm going to go back closer to 180. And we are 160 seconds past periapsis, 16 times on our ECC, down to 900 meters a second. So about 600 meters a second to go to slow down before we'll be captured, I think. All right, now I'm driving my PEA down pretty quick, so let me watch that. Okay, it looks like we're starting to get something resembling an orbit. Okay, we're almost captured. Okay, we're technically captured, so now let me... Let me rotate this way quite a bit because we're way, way, way past periapsis. And actually at this point I can probably use interplanetary to get an actual circular orbit now. So let's see if we can do that. So menu, orbital, circularize. Is this going to work or is this going to be stupid? Let's try it. What's our current altitude? 100. I hope it's not doing something really dumb. It's doing something really dumb. Yeah, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have used that because now we're no longer captured. Uh, that's frustrating. Yeah. Translation. Rotation. I just don't know <laughs> what I'm doing with IMFD. So let's go back towards retrograde and try again to get captured. I wonder if I can use the retrograde autopilot oh. now. Yeah, okay, I can. That's good. All right, so once we get into retrograde, yeah, I don't know what this is trying to do. It's like, all right, good enough. Full power on the main. Actually, a PET was going up, so let me get in a bit closer. PET still going up. PET still going up. All right, we're captured, and we're in a circular orbit. Let's go ahead and just dial that in a little bit. Get a nice low eccentricity. Okay, we made it. 
So that's Vesta. So we can orbit here for a while without worrying about crashing. And let's bring up map. And that's going to be our base target. <clears throat> so what I want to do, I do want to try to land during the day. And luckily I don't have to worry too much about being perfectly lined up with with the base because the orbital velocity here is really low so all I need to do is just warp time forward just to make sure that the base is during the day and then so like right here maybe and then as we're coming around over top of the base We'll try to do a burn when we're, you know, 216. So when we're just like a little over a kilometer away from the base, we can engage the full power of the main engines to just come to a complete stop right over the base and then touch down uh, pretty easily because, you know, we're not dealing with really high gravitational. This isn't a high uh, gravitational body and we're not dealing with really high velocities. So we will save that for the next part. So let me go ahead and switch camera views here. And yeah, when we come back, we will uh, orbit around to the point where we're just about near the base and we'll come to a full stop uh, at whatever altitude we happen to be at. And I think we're at like 100 kilometers, so we're going to have quite a while to, to descend. And yeah, and then we'll touch down on the base that I called Daylight, which is a copy of that Aurora base. Alright, so if you like this part of the series, hit the like button down below, and I'll see you in the next part.